Hi, Joy Kids. Today is 5th Friday, March 5th. And today's scripture comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 20, verses 18 through 34. The Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the teachers of the law. They will sentence him to death. On the third day, he will rise from the dead. The mother of Zebedee's son came to Jesus. She said, Promise me that one of my two sons may sit at your right hand in your kingdom. Promise that the other one may sit at your left hand. Jesus said to them, But it is not for me to say who will sit at my right or left hand. These places belong to those my Father has prepared them for. And anyone who wants to be first must be your slave. Jesus said that his disciples were leaving Jericho. Two blind men were sitting by the side of the road. They heard that Jesus was going by. So they shouted, Lord, son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus stopped and called out to them. What do you want me to do for you? He asked. Lord, they answered, we want to be able to see. Jesus felt deep concern for them. He touched their eyes. Right away, they could see. And they followed him. Amen. So joy kids, go meditate and come back. All right, welcome back. So today's message title is the kingdom of heaven is. So during that time, people, even the disciple, even though Jesus mentioned that he's going to die and rise from the dead, they really did not understand what that meant. They did not believe that Jesus was going to really die, especially on the cross. Because the death on the cross was for critical criminals, like bad, bad people who were doing wrong things. And so when Jesus even mentioned his death and that he will rise from dead on the third day, none of the disciples really understood what that meant. And especially, you know, today, this mother of two of Jesus' disciples comes. And she's like this. Jesus, when you go and become the king, please put my sons in the most important positions with you. So during that time, sitting at the right hand or left hand of a king meant you're the top leaders along the king. So she's asking that. But Jesus is saying, you have no idea what that means. Because when Jesus says that he is the king, he meant in heaven. And, but she really thought she, Jesus was going to be the king of the current world that they were living in. So she was asking for her wrong desire, wrong question, and wrong thing to Jesus because she did not understand when Jesus is the king, he did not mean like political king on this earth, but on heaven. And so Jesus says this, she said, he said to her, if anyone wants to be first, if you want to have a good position in heaven, you should be a slave and a servant. And so what Jesus meant was when we live on this earth, boys and girls, we need to be serving other people to help them to really see Jesus, right? If we want to be a good and first person in heaven, Jesus is saying that we have to be serving other people. But the mother of the two of Jesus' disciples probably had no idea what Jesus was saying because she truly did not understand that Jesus was going to be in heaven. And you know, something else is, but these two blind men, right, they were sitting on the road. And the moment that they saw him, they knew, they called out, Lord, and they knew that he is the son of David. And they asked, they beg, have mercy on us, Jesus. And they were blind. So Jesus must have known that they want to be seen that they want to no longer be blind. But Jesus asks them, hey, what do you want me to do for you? And obvious answer is, 
they are saying, we want to be able to see. And sometimes, boys and girls, even though Jesus knows everything, he wants you to see it. And so when we pray, even though Jesus knows everything, Jesus wants us to go and tell him. So when we pray, go to Jesus and tell him everything that you feel. If you felt sad today, ask, tell him, Jesus, I felt sad. You know, Jesus, someone has called out with this name to me. Jesus, I felt sad because I couldn't get good grades. Jesus, I felt sad or I, I feel tired because of homeworks. And so, boys and girls, that's what Jesus wants us to do. Jesus wants us to say it to him. And that is what prayer is. When we pray, we're just talking to Jesus and building relationship. Even though God knows everything, he wants to hear it from us. So I challenge you, when you go pray today, just talk to him. If you feel sad, if you feel happy, if you feel amazed, just tell God. And so these two blind men, they're telling Jesus, Jesus, I want to see. And you know how Jesus feels? He feels deep concern for those people. And that's the heart that we need to have for people who are sick, people who need, are needed. And that's the heart of Jesus. And you know what Jesus does? He touches their eyes. And right away, they're able to sing. And they follow Jesus. And so, boys and girls, that's something we need to remember is that if you guys want to be first in heaven, we need to be serving other people. We need to feel concerned for other people. And we need to help others. Right? And be like Jesus. Ask today, throughout today, ask Jesus, what would Jesus do at the moment? Right? That's a question that we need to be continuously asking every day of our life. Right? So let me read the potter's will. Jesus predicts his death for the third time. The mother of Zebedee's son asks a favor of Jesus so that her two sons will sit at Jesus' right hand or left hand in his kingdom. But only God can decide who will sit beside Jesus. Jesus feels sorry for the two blind men, so he, feel, he heals them. So today's question is, if you want to be first in heaven, what should we do? If we want to be first in heaven, what should we do? So comment below. Let me read the prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving me the lesson about your kingdom. I will help others wholeheartedly while remembering your love on the cross. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you so much for your grace and your love and that we're able to pray to you. Lord, teach us how to pray. Teach all joy kids how we should pray to you and build relationship with you, Lord. Lord, we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.